Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Big Ambitions. We're outside the Manhattan Business School. It's 7.30 in the morning. They're open, apparently, at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we're going to come on in here, and we're going to get started with the fundamentals of business administration today. Now, this course takes 24 hours, and, you know, we could go a long time to get this. It costs $80 per hour, and uh, we're going to do 12 hours today. I got everything, energy, food happiness everything is taken care of so we're just going to get started on this course we will eventually need this to expand to multiple businesses and such later so we might as well get a big head start on these types of things so we now have 12 hours uh completed on this thing if i go to learn now uh no, it's gonna say it's closed okay so i wasn't limited by my own energy i was limited by that fair enough we have 34 01, I suppose. $3,400 in our account. We're making about $3,400 yesterday. And I want to get started on training to get better customer service out of my employees. My van's over here. And I, I, I want to get started on diversifying products as well. I need to offer more diverse products or I need to have more diverse product offerings, I guess. So let's sleep until seven again. It was a full day of just nothing but studying pretty much, right? And today, we're going to go and see if we can't buy a couple more bits of furniture for the store. And in fact, I probably should have ordered that yesterday uh, if I could. I, you know what? I tell you what. I'm going to order it from... Oh, where is it? I'm never going to figure this out. Furniture and equipment. There it is. I want to order... I think AJ sells this, right? I'd like to get, like, as soon as possible, I guess, some more cabinets... And I want the grills. Do we do we have grills in here? Grill, grill, grill? No? No grill in here? That's okay. I can get that myself. And I think I'd rather do it anyway, because if I get it myself, then I get it faster. So tell you what, we're going to order... Now, there's a $250 delivery fee for this. So I'm just going to decline. Never mind. We have all day. We can go get it ourselves. It's fine. So AJ's is located just down the road. It's so close. We'll just go do that. And we're also going to want the grill, right? I need, I need the grill and stuff. So we're going to say, let's just park right here. I'm sure nobody will mind if I park on this particular sidewalk, right? Now we're going to have to get a little bit more legal here. Uh, right about this ought to do. Just a casual bump of that trash bin and I'm at 80% of my vehicle. Jeez. Uh, managing storage. I'm actually trapped. I can't move. Yep. <laughs> I am trapped. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. Let's back up and we're good all right good uh here we go let's go security so i grabbed two security panels that were sitting in the store i went ahead and did that because uh we don't need it now somebody's brought this comment up and i like this idea we can actually go back and forth with this i'm i'm okay with the game speed the way it is i like how it progresses but if you know you want to do a bunch of stuff and you're worried about timings and you know how what time everybody's open and everything you can go to the options and you can go to others and slow the game speed if you want to. So like I can slow it all the way down to 20% uh, right now. And uh, if I do that, then this clock up here will move at like a fifth of the speed it would normally move. It gives me a lot more time to go around and buy all the things I'd like to buy, for example, and maybe decorate and, you know, kind of get things going the way I want. It gives me more time. Okay, so... Our store currently requires, uh, I think I'm going to need probably two more of these cabinets with drawers. And we're going to have to do all the coloring and stuff with it later. And um, I'm going to grab, I want to grab the grills, but I don't think there's, there are any more here. I'm going to need actually more than these. Okay, we're going to buy three more cabinets with drawers. All right, that's going to be what we do here at AJ's. Uh, then I would like to go get some grills or at least some more grills. So I need to go this way. Put my stuff inside the van, please. I'm also going to put the hand cart in there as well. So that's just clicking one more time. And then we're going to head over from here. We're going to head over to the other appliance store. The one that's right across the road from Elgato's supermarket. And at that store, we can find the grill to expand. Because I'm going to expand my product offerings today. We are going to start selling the chicken skewers because they're in high demand and they are uh, something we can definitely sell for uh, more money. So 
we want to go ahead and do that. I'm going to park at this end spot right over here because then I don't have anyone in front of me. Here we go. I'm just going to stick my nose out in the intersection briefly. And that is a legal spot, but it's seven bucks. Yeah, seven dollars for that. Wild. Uh, well, here's a life hack. I guess we could do this. If you don't want to spend the, it's only seven dollars, but if you don't want to spend the seven dollars, here's the life hack for this. If you park and you let the time, you just sit in the car. You're not going to pay for parking if you're sitting in your car, right? And you let the time tick up to the hour, right? It only charges you on the hour. So with this being like this, what we can do is we can then slow the time down. And then just like that, we can now park the car. I think it doesn't have to be 901, does it? <laughs> you can park the car uh, and then not pay essentially for parking as long as we get back before the turn of the hour. So let's grab the hand truck. And what we're looking for is this. We want the industrial grill. And I'm going to take two. Mm, yeah, I'm going to get two of them. That's $2,800. And then I was thinking of maybe getting a different product offering as well. I don't know about buying the fry machine just yet, but I was thinking, kind of thinking about ice cream though. Ice cream seems interesting. How about a large drinks fridge? Whoa, that's peculiar. I wish I knew how much, like how many customers that would get me, you know? I'm gonna take, uh, I think two, I think each one is 10, right? Is that how it goes? Is each one 10? You know what, screw it. We'll take a large drinks fridge. Why not? Let's just go all out on it. Uh, so five, thousand dollars for this and i think that's probably all i need i can get another cabinet with drawers over here if i want to but we're gonna be you know we're gonna be changing how they look anyway let's grab another storage shelf while we're here too so this is 6200 bucks that's expensive it's pretty much all of our money and pretty much every day we're just doing that we're spending all of our money every single day but today is different because the money we're spending today well it's on stuff that we can actually sell uh, namely getting the grill so that we can have the chicken skewers because before starting this recording, I bought three packages from the wholesaler. I bought three packages at 600, uh, unit count of the chicken skewers, uh, the kebabs. So that means I've got them already in the store in stock, ready to go, uh, just for this very occasion. So we could sell them today. It's 922. We're not open yet. So we can sell them today. So I'm going to grab the hand truck and then we're going to go with storage shelf followed by the large drinks fridge and both industrial grills. All right, let's hop in really quick. We're just going to leave this right here. That's fine. Grab another hand truck, come back out. Store is filthy. Probably want to clean that one before we're at it. And then we're going to go with uh, the three cabinets and that is it. Now, the security panels, I've removed them from the store, like I said, because they're not needed. And I can tell they're not needed because I go into the business manager and when the store is open, that's got to happen. But when the store is open, we will see 100% perfect on this. It'll be 100% slash perfect. So uh, that's what we're looking for. So we're, let's grab the cabinet with drawers. We're going to place another one down right over here. And I know that they're all not matching. We can take care of that later. I just want to make sure everything is in its place first and we're not going to move it around or do anything else like that so we're going to go like that and then we're going to move this cash register over just a little bit i think probably like that is fine do i need to reschedule when i do that there was a time way in the past when that kind of thing would mess up the schedule and it does not appear to have done so good uh, i think it's actually when you pack it and then replace it i don't think moving it ever did but uh, i'm just my, my memory man whatever my memory says right uh, okay, so now I want to change a couple of things here. Uh, we're going to put industrial grill there. And we're going to get another one. That's not what I want to do. Park that. And we're going to get another one. Uh, yeah, I kind of need more of these sh cabinets, don't I? And this is the reason why I'm, I'm kind of not super finalized on this stuff yet. So let's go with you. We're going to move you out one space. Yeah, one space. Move everything out one space. All right, there we go. Everything out one space. Slide you over one. There we go. And this is a corner piece, right? If you haven't seen this yet, this is a corner piece. There's no shelves or anything on it. It's it's meant to be as a corner piece there. And then uh, we'll take the remaining cabinet that we have in here. Uh, we don't have the main. It's this one. We take this cabinet and we're going to put it right back here like that. And then the industrial grill goes on top of that. Okay, 
what we want in this grill, we're going to choose the chicken skewers, the kebabs. So we're going to go in here and we're going to say chicken kebab skewer right there. And also on this one as well, if I can click it, you still have those things, huh? Still have the little window disappearing axe going on. Okay. That was a thing back in like two or three versions ago. It was still a thing that we had going before. Uh, okay. So we have our drinks fridge, which we can go get, and we probably should keep that. Uh, over here let's let's put it over here as long as it's in range of the camera which that should be uh, and then we have the storage shelf which we're going to place back here now one thing we do not have to sell and with only 149 dollars we don't actually have what it takes to sell it actually so we should grab this and pack it and uh do this later actually yeah we're gonna do the the drinks fridge later i'm just gonna actually set this down over here so i don't forget um that should be kind of everything the hamburgers and stuff we'll get restocked as soon as the employees come in which will be in about 10 minutes let's clean the store up just a little bit here since they'll clean it too they just do it at weird hours like whenever they come in it's kind of a weird hour thing i think i would like to get uh one more employee maybe maybe another full-timer would be good and that way the part-timers you know we can just fit them in the gaps and have them clean every time they you know before they leave so I think one more employee would be a good idea. And we do have more recruits. So I could take a look at that too, because we have one more candidate. Her name is Sharon Daughtry. She got 33% customer service and she's a full-time. Well, hello you. Yeah, let's talk. You want 2229. I know how this goes. I've seen this happen before, right? We've, we've seen this episode. How about 2150? And then you can counter offer me $23. How's that sound? Yeah, 23. Yeah. <laughs> Negotiate. No, I'm going to say 21, uh, 2150. I'm pretty, well, she's not going to change her offer if I do that. Let's go 2156. Ah, how, how's that? Oh, you just low, <laughs> you lowered it by. <laughs> okay. Okay. You lowered it by six cents. Good for you. I mean, I raised it by six cents. So I guess you're just matching me, huh? Fine. $22. All right. That's acceptable for her. Fine. So we've got her now. Sharon is going to go to me at my business and here and you know I could go for training on her instead just kind of leave the schedule as it is and let her train that wouldn't be a bad deal we need to get better customer service here and that might be a bad that might not be a bad deal uh, the employee has to be unassigned from the business in order to do that so uh that's fine we can unassign her and then train her it will cost 319 oh I don't have any money okay never mind on that for now We'll just assign her to the business instead. Uh, let's go to the business schedule and we're going to start fitting her into certain things here. So I'm thinking we can probably give Rosalinda a day off at some point, maybe even today. Hey, we just do that and then bring Sharon in in her place and we can let her work most of the day. I'm thinking that's probably a good idea. Uh, Kyle can stay right where he is. That's fine. So Sharon will work most of the day today. Now, Rosalinda needs to stay above 30 hours. Otherwise, she won't be full time. So most of these other days she's gonna you know not be working however there were times where like margie for example we don't need margie working she gets paid what man i wish their wages were like right here on this uh, this overlay like that would be really great to know what they're making per hour right on this it's such a like such an important thing because i can make sure that the people who are making less work less hours or work more hours right um Let's go into here and we'll see. So the most expensive employee I have is Margie. So we're going to get her at 10 hours. That's the minimum that she wants. Uh, and then Sharon's at 22, but she's a full timer. So that's, I guess that's fine. Uh, but definitely Margie and then pretty much everybody else is just the way it is. Um, so back to my business manager. We're going to make sure that yeah, Margie Havens, let's unassign you here. We'll bring Sharon in for... Uh, pretty much most of the day here. Here we go. 20 hours there. She's down to 18 hours. Uh, she's going to be another day right here. Take her off of that schedule. There we go. Now we have a schedule that I think is much better. Your full time. Your full time. Perfect. Uh, we don't need you cleaning though. So we'll have Sharon come in early in the day this day to do cleaning since she has a few hours left here on the schedule. And then we'll make sure that Sharon is also cleaning on this day too how do i get you to clean this day uh, i do so by getting you oh you know what ingrid's gonna do it 
It's fine. Ingrid is already doing it. Uh huh. Good. Cleaning day there. Yep. 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 Sharon uh, cleaning. I kind of want the cleaning to happen at the end of the day, though. Would be better for me. So why about we take your cleaning schedule? We'll just we'll switch your hours to be about like this. I think this is better. And then we just extend you out. Now, if I give you 30, that's still part time. Technically interesting. So 30 counts as full time and part time. OK, cool. You're going to clean there. Uh, and then all this stuff is kind of done now. So everybody's got hours they could be happy with. Oh, except Margie. She's only at nine hours a week now. I must have went one too less or one too little here. Let's let's move you back like this and we'll extend your hours by two this day. OK, fine. That gives everybody the hours they want and everybody can be happy. And uh, it also gives me a little bit more of uh, cushion in case, you know, people call in sick. I don't want people calling in sick. Let's go ahead and just put hot dogs on the shelf because we can We'll grab this box right here and we're just going to replenish the shelves right now. There we go. And now our employees will come in and begin the workday like this. If I take a look at the business manager, we're still limited to 20. And the reason for that, of course, is still because we're short one industrial grill for the burgers. But otherwise, we would be good to go. And we have the chicken kebab skewers. So real quick, let's go to inventory and pricing. We can see that the skewers are currently selling for 12 bucks. I feel like that's really cheap. All right. Really cheap. Now, if we go 50, that's going to be really expensive. Uh, I just wanted to see kind of where it landed. So it looks like 20 is a number that is acceptable that we could get away with. 24 is too much. But since no one else in this market is selling these things, I think I can get away with like higher prices here. So why don't we try $22 and we'll see if anybody wants them for $22. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So since we're already limited to 20, I don't need someone else managing the other cash register. Uh, but if uh, I think if I uh, I'm not sure, I, I think I need to have two people on those cash registers, maybe in order to get that. I don't remember, man, there's a lot of stuff I have to like reacquaint myself with. But either way, that is going to be how we set up this business for now. And uh, then it's just a matter of uh, waiting for money to come in. So I'm just going to head home. Uh, maybe I'll head to the gym for a little bit. Maybe I'll head to the park for a little bit. Yeah, let's work on the happiness bonuses for a little bit here. I don't have any money, so I think maybe the gym is out of the question, but I could definitely do the park. And then I've got that pull-up bar in my apartment. I've got the television in my apartment. All those things uh, can contribute. So I'll just take care of myself for a little bit here. And then I'll uh, we'll come back in when we have a little bit of cash we can invest. Yeah, I want to take a look at the, the walls and floors today as well to really get that place, uh, really get people happy with that place. All right, I'll be right back. Ho, ho, ho. We made $75.91 yesterday. Those chicken kebabs, man, they are very good for us. All right, so we have 10 k in the bank account. You know what that means. Time to expand our product offerings even more. Yes, indeed. We can do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do, I can't decide which one. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's, let's go to the wholesaler first. Because we probably have to restock them, I would think. Let's just take a look really quick at our inventory. We have, you know, honestly, we still have 335. All right, we sold quite a bit of them. So I'm going to, whoa, hey, easy there, easy there. I'm, I'm, I'm driving. All right, it's fine. Maybe maybe it was a red light, All right? I don't remember. Maybe it was. I'm not going to admit to wrongdoing here, but I mean, I'm not going to say it's impossible, okay? Honestly, I don't want to drive with this van. All right, the van's cool, but I want one of them pickup trucks. They look pretty sick. Just saying, they look pretty good. I want to I want to drive one of those pickup trucks right there. Maybe not that one. There's, I think there's only one model, but the white makes it look way too plain for me. So uh, I'm just going to restock, uh, get get a few more hot dogs, get a few more hamburgers, uh, and then also get some more of those kebabs because we can. And you can see here, they're thir uh, 1,388 for 200 pieces. And we're selling them for 22 a piece. So that's a pretty dang good profit, let me tell you. So we're going to spend a little bit of money on inventory today. And I know what some of you are thinking. Hey, do you know you could do delivery deals? Oh, I know. I know. I know we can. But here's the thing, right? Those cost money. You have a minimum delivery or you have a minimum delivery fee for each one of those. And uh, I have a van. I can do this myself. I don't have to man the, the register. All right. This is sort of like the, the argument I, I would go with, like some of my brother does my youngest brother that used to live with us man he would order doordash uh, maybe it's a generational thing i don't know but he would order doordash 
after coming home from work. And it was pretty regular, you know? He would order food and have it delivered to him, pay the delivery fee, right after getting out of work. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, if you do this often enough, why don't you just, you know, order the food and then pick it up on your way home? Like, just, just pick it up yourself, dude. <laughs> you know, like, like, why are you paying the delivery fees? I don't get it. But that's, that was his thing. That was that's what he did. All right. Okay, so back in the business, I'm going to add another storage stuff back here because I can. But then also, I've got the other industrial grill. So I can add that industrial grill right over here. And we'll make sure that it says that hamburgers go there. Yeah, there it is. And now with that, we can open up our business manager, business manager. And now we have a 30 customer capacity. We've hit that mark. And so now, instead of us like slamming up against this 20 customer mark here we're going to be able to sell to more people so now the primary concern i have now that we've expanded capacity we've got hot dogs burgers and the chicken kebab skewers um i'm gonna get soda a whole bunch of soda and we're gonna get it on that get it on the shelves then we can put the soda machine up and sell that too but the next thing we really have to focus on is customer service and also the walls and floors because everybody's com commenting about the walls and floors right um so that's where the rest of my money goes from here I'm going to go into my employees right now. Actually, let's go into the business. We'll see what the schedule is. So today being Wednesday, we want to look at Thursday and Friday. Is there anybody that doesn't work Thursday or Friday? And it looks like Marjorie doesn't and Kyle doesn't. Okay. So I'm thinking what we could do is get, I think, Kyle. That way he can train two days. He actually has Saturday and Sunday too. Okay, so Thursday, Friday... And Saturday, he doesn't work at all. And then his schedule is on Sunday. And I think I'm going to have to reset all of his time slots, unfortunately. But he doesn't work at all until Sunday. So that's pretty good. So we're going to take Kyle here. Kyle has a 24% customer service. We're going to unassign him from the business. And we're going to say that we want to train his skill. And it's going to cost us almost 300 bucks. His customer service skill is going to go from 24 to 34. So... We're going to confirm that. Then let's go back to business one more time. Uh, I want to see the schedule. So is there, is, is Marjorie, right, that doesn't work? She's working today, but she doesn't work at all for the next three days, four days, five days. Wow. She just works Wednesdays. That's it? No, she has to have another day. Isn't it? She has to work another day. <laughs> the math doesn't work out here. There's no way she's... Is this an 11-hour day for her? No way. It is. 11 a.m. to 10. Today is the only day she works. Wow. I mean, I'd rather have my full timers getting training, you know? So how about this? Rosalinda is... I think maybe we take... We could train Rosalinda or, or Sharon. Sharon's full time, but I have to work her shift tomorrow. So I think I'll do that. So I'll work Sharon's shift tomorrow. And I'll get her training today as well. I think that makes sense. So Sharon, we're going to unassign you. And I have to redo their schedule and everything. And that's fine. Um, but we'll train her as well. And so she's going to go to 43% from there. All right. So two different people getting trained. And I don't have to stand here today. Everyone who's here is here today. Thursday, I have to work the second register. And then Friday, we'll probably have everybody back to normal. But I think Friday, I'll, I'll have Rosalinda train, and then I'll work her shift. And then Saturday and Sunday will just be open, and I'll be working on the weekend and stuff, too. And that's fine. Okay, look at this long line. Man, you know what? I should step in here, shouldn't I? I should really step in here and help out, you know? Be a team player. That's how this, uh, this gig works. There we go. Now the other employee comes in, and we're good to go. I don't have to be there anymore. All right, cool. So we will see how the business does now that it can have a higher capacity of customers, right? That's an exciting thing because now we can finally hit that and max that out. If we go by, it's only going to show me yesterday, but this is the thing we want to, we want to pop up a little bit. Now I put too many things in the truck or in the van. And so I brought over the shelf and that extra grill. I just brought it over by hand because this truck is full. and I couldn't put it in there. So. I'm going to now make my way over with all the, the stock, right? And the supplies. We, we just got more chicken, more burgers and all that stuff. I'm going to make my way over here. I guess I'll just 
park on the opposite side of the road. I'd like my, my back end to be close to the restaurant, but I have time to back up, don't I? I have time. We'll do it. These cars won't mind. There we go. You guys don't care if I uh, just turn it to where my back ends this way. By the way, if you want to look behind you, you can just hold C. I still don't like this button because it's just awkward to hold C while you're doing WASD, but it's still fine. It's the button that works, so we'll do it. Uh, can I actually re rebind that? That used to be a thing you couldn't rebind. Is that possible to rebind now? Uh, it is. I don't see it. Oh, right there. Reverse car. Okay, I can see a rebind key for that now. Uh, Jonas is a great developer, you guys. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, I don't want to say we've been working closely together. That's not true. Um, you know, he just keeps hiring me for know the voices and stuff here but back in the day man when i had access to this really early man it was uh it's just cool working with somebody who's he's uh he, he listens he's relatable and yada 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 all right that's it i'm just a fan all right i don't want to say anything else about him but uh i'm just a fan i think he's a great developer he's done he's done a really good job with this game it's definitely a love project you can tell it's a love project uh let's take this right here and we got more chickens chicken kebabs put those in on the shelves as well yeah so this is just busy work management stuff i know you guys want to see the overarching stuff and you guys want me to progress and move it along right so tell you what i'll just keep going with the busy work and restocking all that stuff and when we've got a good bit of cash here uh i would like to add the pizza ovens i want to do pizza next and i would also like to well actually is it good to do pizza next let's see what's the demand in the market here so it looks like the chicken kebab is still 86% because I'm the boss. And pizza's next. Yeah, right here. Pizza and french fries are both pretty much the same. But pizza is a much higher uh, priced item. So I can make more prof more dollar per dollar profit for the shelf space and for the time with pizza. So I want to hit pizza next. It's just really expensive. You need two pizza ovens. So it's going to be very expensive. But uh, that's what I'm saying. We could just run this let, or let it go and uh, just keep doing the busy work stuff for a little while. All right. I just finished the shift on Thursday here. Uh, I'm closing up the shop here. Doing the responsible business owner thing. Just making sure everything is all nice and tidy before I do. And uh, both of my employees finished their training sessions. So I can go in now and I can reinvest again into getting them uh, training again. So we'll just say Kyle... Rosamond, we're going to train you again to 321, up to 44%. So we're investing more money in Kyle. And then Sharon Daughtry here, we're going to bring her up to 53%. With a little bit of money there as well. We're, uh, I think we're doing okay on the training bit. Now, I could just have everybody train all at once and just work the store myself. But, um, well, I'm trying to save up money so that I can buy the pizza oven. Every pizza, we need two of them to, to properly do pizza here, I believe. I think each pizza oven is a 20 capacity thing. Just kind of going off memory here, so I don't really remember, but I think it's a 20 capacity thing. And uh, I might be wrong, and I hope I am, because it's $10,000 for the pizza oven. So if it is a 30 capacity thing, then hallelujah. <laughs> but I think I remember it being uh, a little bit different than that. So uh, it's 11 o'clock at night. I don't want to. I don't want to set this up yet, but I can also bring over the drinks in the morning. I think, so, yeah, I can actually bring that up in the morning. So we're gonna place the drinks fridge, and let's put it back like this. So to do that, right, we have the drinks fridge in, and that large drinks fridge is worth fifty. Well, okay then. Might have overspent a little bit on the soda can things, but it's just a big fridge. It looks pretty good, but we don't have any soda cans for it, and it can hold three hundred and sixty of them, so that's pretty good. So we need to be able to uh, to get that in the inventory as well. So that'll be something I bring over with me when I come to work tomorrow. The schedule tomorrow looks like this. There we go. I don't need to be in tomorrow. Cool. I need to work Saturday and Sunday as long as... Because uh, I'm going to be training Rosalinda after... Yeah, Rosalinda's going to go into training for two days in a row. Possibly three days and I'll just work this day. Yeah, and then Tuesday has nobody because everybody's in training, but... Uh, I'm juggling the schedules around and stuff. We're just going to get people trained and, uh, work on, you know, upgrade. Actually, you know what? Here, we could do this. I have 7,500. Maybe before we get pizza, we look at doing the floors and stuff, right? So maybe we'll go into interior designer right now. And all I need to do is let's say I do like these walls are just expensive. Um, right now we have a 0% score. 
So kind of need to up our game on that a little bit. What does this wall look like? I'm not sure I, I like this. Oh my gosh, dude, it's, I only made 9,700, but I'm completely dog, dog deadbeat tired right now. Like I need a small nap, like just a really quick nap in the car would, would do it for me. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, shucks. And the car is probably really far away too. I think it is. Yeah, because I, I ran over here. I left the car parked over by the appliance store and just ran over here because I'm like, whatever, I got a parking spot. This is full. So it's right over here. It's not that far away, but it's still way over here. So we're going to slowly. <laughs> oh, wait. We might collapse and then have a hospital bill, and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to take. Yeah, I know. Don't hit the zombies. He's, he's a nice zombie. We're just going to take a quick power nap, like a quick hour. <clears> hour <throat> nap should be fine. Yeah, that's a little bit of energy, but because we don't have any food in us. Let's turn the radio down. Because we don't have any food in us, though, that's going to hit me hard. I'll just do it in the morning. It's fine. $20,000 though. Pretty dang good. We could even bring the pizza oven with us tomorrow. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring soda and I'm going to bring the pizza oven. Both of those things. Because we have the money to do so. Man, parking sucks. I don't know. I, I find there's like ambulances on the side of the road so often. All right. So I, I don't know if it's just like the game is pulling from available vehicles and it just happens to pull ambulances really frequently right fire department and stuff but um either that or one of my neighbors this is how i've been role playing it this is how i've been doing it one of my neighbors drives an ambulance and he just drives it home <laughs> he stays here for the sake of like he's on call and he's at home or something i don't know i don't know i don't think that's how it works with uh with medical staff but it, it could be it could be I, I don't have to go to work tomorrow i have people working that shift so we can go and get a full night's rest let's go to 9 a.m and then uh, we're just going to go real quick, stop by our fridge. Oh, right. We don't have any food in there. Um, so I went and got food and then never came home. So the food is actually in the back of the desert right here. So we'll just grab the paper bag, eat, and then I need to actually drop off the groceries into the fridge here. And just to make sure we can get there on time, I'm going to go ahead and just reduce the speed of the game again. That's fine. And we can go over to, uh, let's grab this one last paper bag. <clears throat> Excuse me on my voice there. Uh, one last paper bag. Go like this. There we go. And I'm not very happy. You know, I'm just going to watch like a little bit of TV. It won't be very much. It's just enough to get me small happiness boost. Remember, I'm not a very good boss if I'm not happy. So my employees are not very happy with me if I'm not happy. So I need to be happy too. Okay. So we're going to bump this up. Make it 9,700 a day now, which is pretty good. Restaurants are definitely more profitable in this version than they were last time because, you know, food restaurants and stuff, they weren't that profitable when we played before. It was like you make a jewelry store and you make a clothing store. Clothing stores were insanely good last time. I don't know if they still are. They probably still are, but they were insanely good before. And I don't know if that's the case now. Okay. We're going to bring a couple of things with us then. We're going to, we're going to stop by over here. We're going to grab some pizza. Now, I already have a box of pizza at the restaurant, but we're going to bring more. Then we're going to bring soda, 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 soda. Where is the soda? I feel like I might have passed it because this is like all the food stuff. I'm checking on the left side right there. Yep. Soda cans. And we want to bring a whole bunch of these. So we're probably going to fill up our van with soda right now. There we go. Soda is right here. So just go ahead and grab this and just do back and forth and just put a bunch of soda in this van. All right, we need to make sure we don't fill up entirely. Is 12 out of 14 good enough? Because we're going to want to put a hand truck in here. And we're going to want to put the pizza oven in here as well. And that'll be 14 out of 14. So let's go ahead and stop in. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> I I didn't know the guy. <laughs> it stopped me for the window. And I had forgotten that it's going to just keep right on going as soon as it unpauses. So that's fun. Down to 66% on our <laughs> damage on our vehicle. Yeah, and if you get to zero, and if you, in case you're wondering, you haven't seen the game before, and you get to zero, it pretty much your vehicle just breaks down and it won't work. And then you need to get it towed, which of course costs money. 
and then a big repair bill right so it's expensive you want to drive safe you want to drive uh responsibly as much as you can uh which they've made it they've made it much easier to drive more responsibly right there's a lot of tools that's been installed in this game to get you to drive more responsibly like the speed governor i can't go any faster than this and then this whole like keeping me in the lane thing so they've you know they've definitely put features in to stop you from wrecking your shit and yet i still find a way to you know bump into this guy wow he's just not gonna let me back up i want to back up into that parking spot you jerk right in here that's where i wanted to go yeah yeah he's the jerk <laughs> it's his fault he's the jerk you guys all right so the pizza oven is down here it's kind of hard to see because you usually are looking at it from this angle that's the industrial fry machine and then the silver machine right on the other side is the pizza oven it's ten thousand seven hundred and fifty six dollars it is incredibly expensive to sell pizza but it's a good thing to sell man it's gonna make money so you want to get that oven i i do anyway i want to get that oven all right so now we're just gonna go down to the store and man parking down parking at my store sucks it's just always full so i'm gonna park it right here i guess and hopefully i think parking on this side of the road actually costs money it does so that side of the road is free and this side costs money it's a little weird uh actually you know what i might be able to get away with that spot right over there i know it's uh gosh that's really tight i don't think so. i was gonna try to park in front of this car but this is five dollars and these two spots are seven dollars at least i think this is is this seven dollars too it is fifteen dollars <laughs> okay so kind of i don't know if it depends on like what buildings you're in front of or what but parking gets real it gets real expensive how about this area over here can i how about right here can i park here for free it's still kind of a trek but it's this is the struggles you have inside a big city too you have to find places to park five dollars for parking here is I guess it's just gonna have to be what happens. We're just gonna pay the $5, it's fine, all right. So I need the hand truck, and then the pizza oven, and then uh, some more pizzas, and then I want the soda can so I can get them in stock immediately. So let's run in here. The, the business is open, but we can't sell soda, so they're completely out right now. <clears throat> That's a problem. So we wanna get the soda put in here. Let's just real quick get it in stock. There it goes, now they can sell it. And then we'll put everything else uh the oven needs to be installed now the oven i don't know whether or not it's gonna let me just see really quick they have it in stock right so pizza is already in the sh on the shelf so it's automatically in there we can sell it now but we need to set our price right so come back over here the pizza oven looks like it is a 20. okay we need to buy two of them to hit so because i don't want to reduce my customer count today what we're going to do is we're going to remove content from this okay and we're just gonna set it over here and then we're going to unpack this or rather we're gonna pack it sorry we're gonna pack this put it in our hands instead now by doing that we've removed the pizza oven so it's no longer part of the equation and we have back we're back to our 30 customer capacity okay uh okay so we're just gonna have the pizza oven again another one of those things where you can just place it over here nope no, no not like that not like that pack there we go and place it over here like this so it's ready to go when we want it but we don't want necessarily want it yet all right and then all this stuff can go on the shelves over here all righty so i'm gonna keep working this keep hustling this and when i get to the point where i can have two pizza ovens i will install both of them and then we will be selling pizza and i'll have to set the price and all that stuff too but we want to get the soda cans in there and everything so just regular old back and forth business management stuff i'll be right back okay it is saturday i've got kyle back to work so my part-time employee now has a i believe he's resting at 44 percent and uh we've got that pizza oven right there and i have another one in my hand so we're going to want to shift some of this stuff around to make room for it um i'm thinking the drinks are going to go on the end although we probably get those a lot i'm gonna put it actually here then we're going to have this pizza oven we're going to place that right here next to it there we go like that and then i want to go ahead and pick this up and place that 
right here next to that. There we go. And then I need to stop and set my prices. So inventory. We have soda cans. Currently the cheapest is three bucks. If we go to 320, it's still the cheapest. Good. If we go to four dollars, 340 is still the cheapest. 380. Okay, 375. So I think I'm fine with 380. It doesn't have to be exactly the lowest price all the time, so we're good there. Uh, if we raise this to 320, 20, it's still the cheapest. 30, 60, 80. Wow, the chickens and kebab scooters are awesome. 24. Nobody is still nobody is selling these things. So I'm gonna bump this up to 23.50 for those. Now, our burgers are a little pricey compared to the competition, but they're still selling. I think I'll lower it down to 15 just to see what happens there. Uh, and then the pizza, we're selling for 22 at the moment. If we go to 25, that's still fine. If we go to 26, 29, let's say 30, uh, 35, wow. Okay, so 30 is the lowest. So I think we just match that at the moment. And there we go. So it says that we're about to run out of chickens kebab skewer or chicken kebab skewers, which is again, we're the only ones selling them. So that makes sense. That's why we're able to kind of set whatever price we want for it. But I do need to go and get more. I've got 5,500 bucks left. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get everything in. But we are now selling pizzas. So if I want to look at my business and what we have in inventory, uh, we currently have 360 pizzas in inventory, but we're only at 44 of the kebabs. So I need to run to the wholesaler and get some more. Okay, so we're going to get to the point here pretty quick where we're going to be able to sell French fries, okay? And I've already delivered a few boxes to the store, but I'm going to grab a few more and just pop them in the van here. And I'm not sure if we're out of anything else. Let me just real quick check. There you go, to inventory. So it looks like we're pretty good on everything except maybe some pizza. We could do, use uh, maybe a couple more boxes of pizza as well. So we'll go ahead and grab those. Uh, but what I want to do now is like, I'm, I'm preparing for the transition transition. That's not really the right word. I guess the expansion, right. Of, you know, being able to serve, this is 120. I think we're good. This has just doubled my inventory of pizza just now of uh, being able to serve French fries. So we're going to have another skew and we're getting to the point now where we have too many skews, right? And, uh, if you're not familiar with the terminology, it basically just means we have many different kinds of uh, products to sell, okay? And that diversity is great, but it also is a little more difficult to manage logistically because you have many different items. We don't have to, thankfully, depend on one item or two items to keep us afloat. So if there is a shortage at some point, you know, demands and stuff change, where's my business? Where the hell did I go? I'm going on the wrong road, that's why. Gotta turn right here. Uh, if we get to the point where like some market condition changes and, you know, let's say, you know, the, the harbor's having a hard time shipping in the watches or something, right? I don't have to deal with the watches because I'm not an electronics store, but maybe there's some, I don't know why there'd be a shortage of hot dogs, but let's say there's a shortage of hot dogs somewhere, right? We can weather that storm because we have a lot of different products. So that's a good thing. Downside, right? It's harder to manage. So... We're going to set up delivery contracts uh, pretty quick here to help manage that a little bit better. Um, I'm going to grab the French fries that I just bought. I'm going to add that to the boxes of French fries that are already in here. Yep, that's something we're going to fix right now, too. So people don't like being here. <laughs> we're going to fix that right now. Let's go into the interior designer. And we have 5,800 bucks. Let's make people happy. We're going to go down and let's uh, You want to look brick? I think brick looks pretty good, honestly. We could do brick right here. We have to have a uh, have to have a different color floor though. But the walls could be changed, like something like this. It's forty two hundred. Oh my god! Oh, I don't know why I'm so impressed, like so surprised by this every single time. But I think I need to, I got to got to do the floor first, right? I'll do the floor first because the floor seems to have a bigger impact, and uh, it, it costs a, a bunch, but it seems to have a bigger impact. So that is gonna that's exactly it. That's all of our money. Boom. So now at least they can't tell me that the floors look awful. <laughs> uh, the queue is full though. That's interesting. Uh, I guess we're going to have to hop on in and help out. I like how they all adjusted to the different line. That's great. So I'll go ahead and, hop and help out for the remainder of the day. There we go. And then we'll have to clean up. But uh, yeah, we're down to 79 bucks and that's it. 
Okay, it's the next day, and it's before we open, so nobody's in here. And I want to finish the walls and have this be the end of the video here. So uh, we're going to go interior designer. Now, there's a couple of things we can also do, and I've already done it, and I'll show you how to do it if you don't know how, because uh, it's not immediately obvious how. So we're in the interior designer. We did the floors already. We're going to do the walls. And I think a dark colored wall probably looks better for this. I'm going to go with this $135 one. It makes the place look really rich. I'm just saying this this design is uh it's a bit overkill i feel like maybe there's a lot of black and white going on here there's not a lot of color maybe we should have some color huh maybe we'll add a little bit of i mean i, I have a lot of black and white theme going on i've got the, the black tables black chairs uh and then the counters are all black and white uh you change the colors of those by going into the interior designer and then right clicking something and it brings up this color palette okay and so you can change the colors how you want so this drinks machine for example if i click the if i right click the drinks fridge i can actually change its color to black and white or purple on the top or blue on the top or whatever like that right so i can do that and now i'm kind of liking the blue i don't know about the accents here uh maybe we get something like a red yeah i mean we could we could do something like that for now though i think I think because it's blue though, it's probably good to change it. Why don't we why don't we actually make that black right now? So 220 bucks to do that. It's kind of expensive. Pizza oven has no color options. And then these cabinets here, they have lots of different color options. So the top of them can be changed like this. The uh the doors, you can see the doors will change. Right? Different colors here like this. You can make them really I guess you can't really make them bright, right? You can't really see the bright colors here. On this side it this will also match the doors. So the doors on this side will match this side over here. Uh, and then color three is, I believe the, there's like a trim. I want to say it's hard to see it. It's really difficult to see this, but I think it's like a trim around the outside, but I don't see that happening, being reflected here right now. Uh, and then finally the handles are the next thing. You can change the color of the, the door handles and stuff too on that. Uh, okay, so anyway, I've got this black and white tone going. I've already paid for the black and white tone, so I kind of don't want to change it. But I think we can add the color. Any color we're adding, we can do it with the uh, with the walls over here, right? So I'm thinking maybe we go with something that, that really rich look and design. I liked that, but I think changing the colors a little bit differently. Those are all pretty bland. Okay, I, I'm deciding between two kind of fancier walls, to be honest. We got this like fancy brick going on here. And then we also have, there's actually three choices. There's this one, there's this one, which I think is a little bland on the, on the gray. I kind of want to add more color, right? And so I'm actually leaning towards this one, which doesn't give us a ton of color up here, but it does give us this wood tone here. Uh, or we can go here, which is maybe a bit too brown, but if I'm just like looking at how it changes the room, right? And it changes the room by quite a lot. Although if I go all the way around, like that looks pretty good, but going all the way around is going to cost me $7,000 and I can't afford that. So that's pretty expensive too, but it looks a lot better than this white tone we have here. So I think I'm going to, at the very least, I can do an accent wall with this. So I'm thinking like maybe over here we'll do one and then maybe this side over here we'll do it. For now, we can paint just that and then we can look at other walls and stuff as we progress, but it's expensive to, interior design is expensive stuff, so... Uh, real quick also, these plant boxes can be changed. You can go darker on these two. So we'll set that for 60 and we'll set that one for 60. There we go. We can make that a little darker. Uh, and then the garbage bin, I think we can also bring that back down. Yeah, a little, little darker there. Or we can make it white. I think I'm going to go with white. Yeah, like something like... Uh, that looks interesting. I don't know how it's going to look up against the brick though. So maybe... And maybe we'll just leave that alone. That might look okay. And then how does white tables look? Let's see, how, how do white tables look? If I was to go brighter tables, you can hardly see them. It's kind of the problem. Definitely don't want to do anything brown like this. So it's pretty much, yeah, black on black. What about the chairs? It, again, it's kind of hard to see them. So I think I'll just leave them alone. So that's how we have it for now. Uh, we obviously can change a lot of this. So the bar, or I guess the counters, really, it's not really a bar. The counters are eventually going to go all the way around and then wrap around. Uh, maybe all the way to the, I think what I'll probably do is end them like right here. And that's like, there's an employee walkway kind of thing. 
but then they'll work throughout all of this and so we'll have the the pizza ovens the fryers for the fries and i actually want to integrate an ice cream thing like right here on the end so that people who are getting desserts and stuff can get them over here and um i don't think that's actually how it will work because i think the your employees have to go over and get it but like this is one of those things where i feel like people who are getting desserts it should kind of be standing in a different place than people who are getting lunch you know so we're kind of work with that and then we'll have the fryers back here back to back the pizza ovens will be out here back to back they have the soda can still that'll exist and uh yeah i'll be good to go on there uh my employee rosalinda rosalinda has been going to training uh to get her customer service up so i've started her training and she'll be at 37 percent when she's done i will get her to nearly 60. i think is probably what i'll do for now uh, and then we have Sharon, who I've trained up to 63 now. And upon training her, right, she gets more money because she's more trained. She's higher trained. Uh, in addition to that, though, she also has an additional want and demand, which thankfully, it's just a clean work environment. So it isn't that big of a deal because we mostly always have a clean work environment for her. But th there are other demands that are much more difficult to meet uh, than that, too. We're probably going to want to look to have at least two of our employees trained for good cleaning skills so that when they do come in they can clean a lot because if you don't have them clean very long like if they're only doing it for like one hour a day they're not gonna do a good job they're not gonna clean the whole place uh quite as well as they could all right vans empty uh store stocked and ready to go today is monday and that means that i have a uh, schedule 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 monday yep people are going to be working so I don't have to worry about it. Sharon's going to be in there and Kyle's going to be in there too. Kyle's orange now. He has a 44% customer service. So all is well. In the next video, we're going to expand. We're going to get fries going. Um, and then we're going to start setting up deliveries, delivery routes, making partnerships to get things delivered for us a little bit. And maybe depending on how things are going with the money situation, I would like to make more than 10,000 a day before I start getting into warehouses and stuff because that stuff gets pretty pricey but i think for now delivery contracts are probably where we're going to be and then we can get into warehouses uh maybe if we open up another restaurant we can get into warehouses i don't know we'll see thanks for watching though i do appreciate you guys we'll see you next time Bye bye